What's up, science lovers? My name is Kristen Dauber, and welcome back to another episode of 300 Seconds of Science. If you love animals that are big, fluffy, and super cute, you're in the right place, because today we're talking about the giant panda. Giant pandas belong to the family of bears, which are predatory animals. For many years, scientists wondered whether pandas were a type of bear, raccoon, or something all mm -hmm. their own. But plenty of genetic studies have made it clear that pandas are a type of bear. Giant pandas are distinguished from other pandas by their large size and black and white coloring. The giant panda is native to China, where it is considered a national treasure. As early as 8 million years ago, its ancestor began to live in the territory that is now considered China. Historically, it's been a national symbol of valiancy and peace. In fact, during wartime, if one side raised a flag with a panda pattern, they hoped that active fighting would be suspended and that peace could follow. It's no wonder, considering how docile these animals are. In fact, these animals are so easygoing that they spend most of their time eating and sleeping. These animals have an insatiable appetite for bamboo, spending up to 12 hours a day eating about 28 pounds of it. If there isn't enough bamboo around, they will supplement their bamboo diet with rodents, fish, insects, or birds. After they're satisfied with their meal, giant pandas appease their food coma by sleeping for two to four hours. For the most part, giant pandas are giant loners. They dislike being around other pandas so much that they have a heightened sense of smell that lets them know when mm -hmm. other pandas are around so they can be avoided. To mark their territory, giant pandas secrete a waxy scent marker from a scent gland underneath their tail. Other giant pandas can likely tell the gender, age, reproductive condition, social status, and more by sniffing this potent marker. The only time giant pandas ever really seek each other out is during their spring mating season. The male panda will use its extremely sensitive sense of smell to seek out a female panda when it's ready to mate. Giant pandas enjoy solidarity so much that panda families don't even live together. Female giant pandas will leave the male after mating season and rear its cub alone. And around the age of 18 months, panda cubs gain the ability to leave its mother's care and fend for itself. China has made the protection of its treasure giant pandas an important task. They've even gone as far as returning cultivated lands to forests and resettling local residents in an effort to increase the giant panda's habitat. Currently, there are 67 nature reserves in China dedicated to the conservation of pandas. These reserves protect two-thirds of the giant pandas in the wild and more than 50% of the giant panda's habitat. When the latest assessment was made by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources in 2014, giant pandas were categorized as vulnerable. This was an improvement compared to the giant panda's status in the 1980s, when they were categorized as endangered. So why should we continue to save the giant panda? Besides being a cultural icon for Chinese culture, pandas also play a crucial role in China's bamboo forests by spreading seeds and helping the vegetation to grow. In turn, this protects not only unique forests, but a wealth of other species that live in them. Saving these habitats provides a lifeline for a host of other endangered animals. The panda's habitat is also important for the livelihoods of local communities, who use it for food, income, fuel for cooking and heating, and medicine. So by protecting the giant panda, we're actually saving so much more. If you want to do your part to save the pandas, here's what you can do. Donate to a charitable organization that protects pandas, such as the World Wildlife Fund. Sponsor or adopt a panda. Proceeds go towards the organization's conservation efforts. Use less or recycled paper. Giant pandas live on bamboo, which is scarce because bamboo trees are being cut down to make paper which is destroying their natural habitat and only food source. Reduce your travel impact. Climate change endangers animal species by destroying their habitats and wiping out their food sources. Leave us a comment and tell us what you're doing to save the pandas. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to 300 Seconds of Science on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and show us some love on Instagram. I'm Kristen Dauber, and this was 300 Seconds of Science. So go out, enjoy life, and stay curious. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. Do you want to gain experience in video production, professional social media, or working with real clients? Visit the UA School of Communications online or follow us on social media to learn more. ZTV, make media, make a difference.